Hello, Al Pals. This is Big Al. Welcome to Big Al Presents a Big Al Retro Review of Hawk the Slayer, the 1980 sword and sorcery cult classic. That's right, beyond the edge of darkness, there's a world of sword and sorcery. Hawk the Slayer is one of the all-time great, <laughs> I say that with a little with a little fun little smile, one of the great fantasy films uh, of the 80s. But if you don't know anything about it, let me tell you a little bit about the film. It is a sword and sorcery adventure about two brothers, Hawk the heroic wielder of the magical mind sword, and his older brother Voltan, who murdered their father and fights for the forces of darkness. After Voltan kidnaps an abyss, the one-handed warrior Ranulf must seek out Hawk, who brings together his trusted allies to help him defeat his brother, and bring peace to the land. The 1980s was a golden decade for sword and sorcery films, and Hawk the Slayer was one of the first, if analyzed simply regarding its production values, its performances, and its plot, Hawk the Slayer would be deemed a ridiculously bad adventure film, with slapdash editing, laughable special effects, suspect acting, and a synthesizer score to make your ears bleed. But if there was ever a film to embody the phrase, so bad, it's good, it's Hawk the Slayer. Like any good fantasy film, there's an opening prologue. This is the story of heroic deeds and the bitter struggle for the triumph of good over evil, and of the wondrous sword wielded by a mighty hero when the Legion of Darkness stalk the land gives you everything you need to know right off the bat and what follows is an a plus of a b movie a quirky cult classic that is fun to watch and even more fun to watch with friends jack palance is glorious as voltan and gives an outrageous performance even william shatner would call over the top the effects are wonderfully cheesy. I mean, wonderfully cheesy. It is the best of Brie. It's a champion of cheddar. It is the majesty of mozzarella. Or Munster, depending on your taste. And it's almost guaranteed to put a smile on your face, if not completely crack you up, just how cheesy some of these effects are. And we can probably thank Hawk the Slayer for the other great fantasy films that followed in the 80s. This film is really one of the first to come out in the 80s that started a deluge of sword and sorcery fantasy films, the likes of Beastmaster, Crawl, Sword the Sorcerer, Deathstalker, and dozens and dozens more owe their cinematic DNA, I think, at least in part, to Hawk the Slayer. It came along at the right time, and when I first saw it, I was just getting into Dungeons and Dragons, and if you are a Dungeons and Dragons fan, this is a wonderful film to watch because you will see aspects of every party you've ever been a part of in the characters in this film. You have the handsome hero, the wicked one-eyed villain. You have the giant uh, warrior. You have a dwarf. You have an elven archer and Ranulf, who uses a crossbow. And I have to add, one of the great laughable moments on this film is when the archer shoots his bow and Ranulf shoots his crossbow. They are rapid fire, and they wouldn't do better if they had a semi-automatic rifle. They, they shoot off shots rapid fire, and it's just 
hysterical how the edit is just over and over and over again showing the repeat shots. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. But uh, one of the just one of the great bad films of all time. If you love sword and sorcery films and you haven't seen Hawk the Slayer, I can definitely recommend it. But of course, it is that caveat. This film is bad. But it it almost like does a pirouette of badness and comes around to being good again. Uh, the synthesizer score, which could initially be very off-putting, actually becomes very pleasant. And just listening to it kind of brings you back to those days of the 80s when those heavy uh, synthesizers were being used in a lot of film scores, uh, especially in fantasy films, to give that otherworldly effect. I just hope that you give it a chance and give it a watch if you've never seen it. And if you have seen it and don't really remember too much about it, give it another watch with, uh, with the mindset that, uh, you know, it's not going to be the best cinematic masterpiece, but you just enjoy it for what it is. But that's really all I uh, want to say about it. Just, just watched it again last week and just got inspired to share my thoughts on the film. I just had such a good time watching it again. It had been a few years since I'd seen it and it just sparked those good feelings all over again. And of course, I really hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, to my channel Big Al Presents. I hope you do so. Of course, more reviews, rewatches, and rambles to come. Hope you liked the video. I hope you shared the video with uh, someone who is a fan of sword and sorcery and might not have heard of Hawk the Slayer before. And as always, whatever you choose to watch, I hope you enjoy it, be it Hawk the Slayer or something else. And until next time, take care.